Geralt had to face Aradin, but could only hope to beat him with the help of friends. The Wild Hunt could be defeated with exceptionally powerful magic, so Triss and Yen set out to reconvene the Lodge of Sorceresses. Avalach, too, began to lay plans of his own. Geralt had to face Aradin, but could only hope to beat him with the help of friends. The Wild Hunt could be defeated with exceptionally powerful magic, so Triss and Yen set out to reconvene the Lodge of Sorceresses. Avalach, too, began to lay plans of his own. I've tested the slime samples. I believe I'll be able to brew an antidote. Good. A pox and an army can prove more ravaging than even their fiercest foe. Your service will be recognized. How? Will I get a toad-shaped medal? The army's not got any medal like that. Geralt? Are you all right? What's that on your face? Long story. <clears throat> We're conducting important business. Yous can catch up later. Uh, yes. Right. I'll get to work on the antidote. Shouldn't take long.
tasty number, that medic. Not like a scholar at all. Interesting. Curious to know, what do scholars look like to your mind? Uh, well, all that reading's hard on the eyes, right? So they wear spectacles. Oh, aye. Thick ones, propped on wrinkled noses, and their clothing frumpy at best. Who've they got to dress up for? The books? Fascinating, really. But if I were you, I'd make sure no medic ever overhears you. Huh? Why's that? Because when you get caught in a battle, she might just refuse to stitch you back up. You're a lucky bastard, with you? We've seen her making eyes at you. Not like she looks at us. Isn't that right? Admit it. You fancy it too, eh? Sorry, none of your business. Come on. This some kind of secret? You embarrassed? She's quite fetching and you're, well, none too handsome, but a witcher. As is like your type. Come now, fess up, you fancy her or not? It'd take a blind man to shrug and turn away. Too true. Meantime, you witches have got especially sharp senses. <laughs> Here's the medicine. It's a strong solution, so careful with the dosage. Each patient gets exactly two drops after meals, three times a day. At the most, in three, four days, the infection should recede. I thank you, in Redania's glorious name. Serving the Redanian cause now? I serve individuals. I treat them. That they're Redanians is coincidental. I'd help Nilf Guardians as well were I in a position to. Kedwenis, Adernian, Elves, Dwarves, Halflings, the same. Come on, Geralt. You know me. Aside from the incident in the sewers, we last saw each other. Hmm, must have been in Vizima. Yes. Yes. When it was ravaged by the Catriona. Feels like a century ago. Where have you been? What have you been doing since? Well, I left Vizima and returned to Oxenfurt, proceeded to finish my doctorate, and then opened a practice. Shortly thereafter, war broke out, and I was press ganged into the Redanian Medical Corps. Yeah, classic Radovid. Can't complain, really. I've lived at home since the fighting subsided, resumed my practice, and simply treat the ill. Though I must always be ready, for at any time the Redanians might knock with some painfully urgent assignment. Shani, I need your help this time. Hmm, I'd guess this wasn't a social call. All right, tell me what you need. Is it at all related to that mark on your face? And you must tell me what happened in the sewers. Hmm, where do I start? All right. Monster in the sewers turned out to be a giant toad. And this toad was actually a prince, and Ophiri wanted that. Hmm, and I'm a Kaviri duchess. It's the truth. Uncolored, I swear. When I killed the toad, some Ophiri soldiers led by a mage showed up, captured me. Man named Gontaro Dim freed me. Who's this? Hmm. Could be a mage, a demon, or a djinn. You don't know? He's very powerful. That's all I need to know. He helped me out of a bind. And now he expects me to fulfill some nobleman's wishes in return. First wants to summon the ghost of his brother, then show him the time of his life. Amuse a ghost? How do you intend to do that? Not my chief concern at the moment. Gotta find his grave and summon him first, then we'll see. But that's necromancy. It's extraordinarily risky and involves higher magic. Odim told me how to do it. No sorceress or necromancy involved. Gave me this. Concoction that summons ghosts. I'll need a censor too. That can be arranged. They keep one in a storehouse at the Academy. I can fetch it for you. Thanks. Don't mention it. 
but I still don't like this. Neither do I, but I don't really have any options. Gotta summon that ghost. I understand. Whose ghost is it? Olgierd von Everek's brother. Von Everek? Hmm. In my third year at Oxenfurt, we had to choose an elective. My options were Pearls of Wisdom from the Hierarchs, or Famous Redanian Dynasties. I chose the latter. Here it is. Von Igrid, Von Estekin, Von Everek. Hmm. It says Algird had a brother named Vladimir. He lies in the family crypt near their manor. Thanks. Knew I could count on you. I'm off. The crypt's described as quite a work of art. I'd love to see it. Why don't I bring the sensor? We can meet at the entrance. Greetings, Master. What can I do for you? Got a razor and shears? Good. Make me look decent. Never seen this side of you. What side is that? How do I put this? Your romantic side? I'm used to seeing you surrounded by bandages and medicine vials, often covered in blood. Well, that's because you usually come round while I'm at work. Off duty now. Waiting for you, weaving a garland for the wedding. Didn't know you were getting married. Not mine, silly. My friends. This garland's not for me. Speaking of which, would you go with me? 
Sure, why not? Wonderful. So, it's a date. Remember to bring the sensor? Of course. Some soldiers nearly caught me slipping it into my satchel. Wasn't sure what you needed it for. So I also took a mix of amber, aniseed, and juniper. All rather smoky when lit. Thanks. Might come in handy. Shall we? Let's go. The tome was spot on. This is impressive. Yeah, too bad it's falling apart. The family hit on hard times. No coin to splurge on such luxuries. Ooh, that looks just a little too creepy for me. Don't have to come if you don't want. Wait here. I like that idea. If there's any trouble, just yell. This is no crypt. It's a full-blown mausoleum. Alexei, age 19, beloved son and brother. Honoratina, loving wife of Castatis, died in 1257. Tombstone. 
inscription's almost worn off completely. Gotta spread the incense throughout the crypt, every room. Life and death, fire and blood. Return and walk midst the living, ye who hath departed. Arise from the dust, ye whose blood I have brought. Arise as a friend, for I am no foe. Arise from the dust, ye whose blood I have brought. Arise as a friend, for I am no foe. Closer.
Arise from the dust, ye whose blood I have brought. Life and death, fire and blood. Time to light the voting fire. Fire and blood, life and death, I summon ye, whose blood I have brought. Fire and blood, life and death. You have summoned me, stranger. Why? Name's Geralt. Came to wake the ghost of Vladimir von Everek. Who you are, and why you've come matter little. For you'll not leave this place alive. Are you Vlad's ghost? Who asks after my grandson? It matters not, Honoratina. What I wonder is how this mortal obtained the family's blood. For Von Everick's rise only for Von Everick blood. True. Yet to my knowledge, only one of our line yet lives. Olgird. Then we converse with the man who spilled the blood of your grandson, Kestetis. Mean none of you are Vladimir? It's Olgird, his brother, who sent me. You will meet Vlad soon enough. Yet Olgird, you will never see again. I'll tear you to shreds. <laughs> Kill him, Von Everett. For Olgird's blood. Sons, those von Emmerichs, eh? Who are you? The rogue you seek. Vladimir von Everick, brother to Olgird. Ah, oh, forgot I cannot even scratch my stones. Though in point of fact, they've not itched much since I died. Didn't want to fight your family. They starved. I'm dead, not blind. I preferred to see how you'd handle those snobby pricks. And Grandmum, too. Besides, what harm could you do them? They're dead as it is. Now tell me how you came into Old Geard's blood. If you hurt him, I fear I shall have to kill you. Got it from a mutual acquaintance of mine and all Geards. I'm here on important business. I'm a swining corpse, with no interest in important matters, yours or any other buckers. The sole thing I miss is feasting, corporal diversion, so to speak. But alas. Get a lot of visitors? At times, not often. For when someone does drop by, the whole band comes out to play. Fun-loving family. True. 
We're famed for our love of revelry and rumbles. We von Evericks have brawled and raided for generations. It's tradition. Naturally, with raids comes loot, so we always had the means to celebrate right lavishly. Towards the end of my life was when things went sour. But no point poking at old wounds. Just days before I died, my brother claimed he'd found a way to dig us out, restore our state. Your brother sent me. How is the old rogue? He, what I wouldn't give to ride by his side again. No chance of that happening. Could experience something else, though. Something a corpse should find interesting. Interesting? Out with it. What do you have in mind? Don't mean to pry, but just a little curious how you died. Ah! No need to be shy. Folk love such stories. I'd love this one too, were it not to end with my death. So how did it happen? On raids, it was our custom to storm the alderman's hut, and then order the local clods to bring us kegs of spirit. And provide willing wenches to squeeze and churn about. Then, sadly, an ambush. Outmanned five to one, we were overwhelmed. They killed me, crushed my skull like an eggshell between an upturned oak table and the stone floor. Listen, feels like I should know Old Geard better. Tell me something about him. Oh, a fantastic chap. A true cavalier. You won't find another like him in all Redania. The best there is for a drink or a brawl. We were pups when we started riding out on raids. Wet behind the ears. Borderland villagers shat their trousers at the very sound of the word Olgeard. I was his second in command, leading a band of rogues who'd ride through fire for us. Sound like common bandits. Any difference? Us? Bandits? Watch your words. True, some of our swordsmen were mindless brawlers, but not Olgeard. Always curious, took an interest in all things. He devoured books, adored paintings, and loved the most beautiful maid in the world. Listen, Olgeard gave me a job. Odd as it may sound, I need to show you the time of your life. Is that so? Now that, sir, is a brother. I've been dead for years, yet he still looks after me, after my spirits. How much time do we have? Think one night should do the trick? Splendid! Wait just a moment while I hoist my saber and... What the blistering devils! You're a ghost. Can't grab things. Oh, I keep forgetting. But how am I to revel and rock and fuck? Can't lift a tankard to my lips. Can't wield a saber. Can't squeeze a wench as we dance a jig. Guess you'll have to do without. Let's go. I go nowhere. You're to see I enjoy myself, correct? Well, then think of a way to make it possible. How? Revive my flesh. No can do. Besides, body's probably decomposed. Then bloody come up with another way. I'll not go anywhere in this state. Hmm. Guess I could bring someone here, and you... You could... Uh, borrow their body, just for the night. You wish me to possess someone? Uh, yeah. Hmm. Say I agree. Whose body would I inhabit? Dunno. One of Olgeard's men, maybe? Or a peasant who'd agree to do it for coin? Oh, no, no, no. I shan't crawl into the skin of some unwashed bandit or dung-eating swineherd. I've a better idea. 
Oh no, not gonna happen. Oh yes. Yes, it is. Geralt, wake up. Open your eyes. Where are the smelling salts? Death was a small price to pay to lie on a lap so lovely. And so near the wonders concealed a bit higher. Have you gone mad? Yes. As soon as I laid eyes on you, promise to stay and stroke my chin, and I shall spend the rest of eternity in a hound's body, trotting along by your well-turned calves. Geralt? What's happened to you? Geralt? I'm Vladimir. What? Blast. Fine, fine, give me a moment. Yeah, definitely don't like being possessed. You'd not have fainted had you not resisted so fiercely. Geralt, care to explain what's going on here? It's his fault. A pleasure to meet you, my sweet. Whose? His. You know, Olgir's brother. Geralt, there's no one else here. Seems your lovely maiden friend can neither see nor hear me. Hmm. There's potential in that. Leave Shani out of this. Ah, is that a name? Lovely. A perfect name for a perfect lass. You're testing my patience. As you are mine. Can you please explain what's going on here? Oh, fiery. Temperament matches the drapes. Listen, I'm supposed to show Vladimir von Everek the time of his life. Turned out, he's a ghost. So, willing or not, I gotta lend him my body. Wait a minute. Are you saying you're possessed? Not at the moment. Just now he's standing next to me, coyly grinning at you. But off and on, he'll enter my body. So anything I say or do will actually be him, his mind, his intent. Uh, but what if I want to talk to you, not him? <sighs> well, she should approach me and ask me to jump out for a bit. Just come up and ask him to leave for a while. I see. Splendid! Say you we leave this dank crypt. There's a charming grove nearby where kisses taste sweeter than anywhere else in the world. I take it you're a Vladimir now. Doesn't seem like I'll have trouble telling you apart from Geralt. Don't change the subject, my sweet. If a grove's not to your liking, we can cut straight to the chase and make for the nearest haystack. I'm afraid I have to turn you down, dear ghost. A shame. In that case, point me to the nearest brothel. I've got a better idea. Just before Geralt entered the crypt to summon you, I invited him to my friend's wedding. Good heavens. That's damn good luck. No better dancer in all Redania than Vladimir von Everek. My ginger muffin. With me, you shall enjoy an evening to top all others. Wonderful. I must stop by my home first and change. So, we'll meet at the temple. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> Why not? I'm not fond of temples, see? When alive, I'd only set foot in one to loot it. And in death, I find I despise them all the more. Could we not meet after the ceremony, go straight to the feast? Uh, all right. Seems we've no other option. Splendid. <laughs> then I shall see you at the wedding manor. I must say, Witcher, a man could lose his head for a lass like that. And that comes from none other than Vladimir von Everick. Famed for his taste in women. So tell me, honestly now, man to ghost, are you her paramour? 
For if so, you have my word, I shall keep my distance. But if not, then... <laughs> the Haylofts we shall devastate together. Let's say we were more than friends, once upon a time. <laughs> you tried to hide it, but I smell the tryst. I know a thing or two about men, you see. A shame, though. I'd have satisfied her well. But no cavalier would rut in another's garden. So, Witcher, time for the wedding? Let's go. Onward. I'll be right behind you. Keep your paws off her. Why do you pour through my ancestors' bones? On your way. Shut up. I do what I want. Witcher's life. What's it like? Don't want to know. If indeed I didn't, I'd not have asked. Go on, tell me. You wouldn't like it. Those signs. I'd like to try one. What signs? Your Witcher signs. Never done it. Could be interesting. Rather not waste any time. Till the stroke of midnight. What I would rather is what matters. Fine mount. Good stance. Powerful rump. Stable withers. Well, well. See you know your horses. I should say so. My two greatest passions in life. Mares and maidens. <laughs> Spooking my horse. Roach doesn't like ghosts. I remember that mill. Whenever Olgird and I got up to mischief, we'd hide out in there. Once, we snuck off with some moonshine. Old cocksucker Yaramir caught us. <laughs> ah, those were the days. Come on. This is very romantic. Fuck off. Behold, wars have started over uglier wenches. Well, raids have been undertaken at least. True, she looks lovely. Let's go. Whoa, whoa, hold. Mean to go in, wearing that. What else? Have you seen how she's dressed? I'll not parade at that jewel side in a rank tunic. You need a robe. One daren't attend a wedding in anything less. Don't happen to have a robe handy. What do you mean? What about that? I 
Oh no, we're not gonna steal. Come now, we're merely borrowing. Ah, this'll do wonderfully. Perfect fit. It feels tailor-made. Now, for shoes. One must wear shoes to a wedding. Hmm. And we must be neat. Draw and quarter me if I've ever seen a lovelier lass. Nothing left of you to draw and quarter, alas. Doe eyes, a swan's soft, supple neck, and a waist so slim you could grip it one handed. You're actually quite amusing this way. Be assured. You'll like me even better when you come to know me more intimately. <laughs> How intimately? Enough to get a sense of my assets, my dear. Trust me, they're nothing to scoff at. May I please speak to Geralt for a moment? Whatever for. This evening is about my pleasure, not his. Just for a moment. Then you can jump right back in. Be quick! I'll not stand here doing naught. I'm to enjoy myself. Geralt, I'm about to introduce you to the newlyweds. Please make sure your friend doesn't embarrass me. I can't make him do anything. All that nonsense is his. I feel like an ass saying it. I liked some of that nonsense. What, for example? It would do you good to be more relaxed sometimes. Relaxed? So you think I'm uptight? What I mean is... It would be nice from time to time if you could sit back and enjoy life, instead of going around solving everyone's problems. But what does... <sighs> I don't understand. Of course you don't. You're as dense as year-old hardtack. Luckily, you've got me. We'll talk later. Let's go to this wedding. The sooner the ghost has his fun, the sooner this will be over. Finally, something that's not utter tripe. We shall dance till the break of dawn. You get till midnight and not a second longer. That's not enough. I shan't even get properly soused by midnight, let alone... Make an effort. I'm sure you'll manage. You get to frolic and carouse till midnight. That's our deal. Then there's the capping. Then you go back where you came from. So be it. This way. My strawberry. Ah, hello world, I'm back. I'll be damned, a proper wedding. Overladen tables, plenty of worthy drinking companions, and a swarm of fair maids. None compared to you, my dear Rhubarb. Beware of the dog, Shani. Judging by the size of its house, the mutt must be big as a horse. Uh, thanks for your concern, but the dog house is empty. They let a man-eater like that run free? Have the wedding guests been warned? Seems we are indeed in for a cracking good time. What a lovely Rowan. I remember making necklaces of the fruit when I was a child. Ah, the berries make for splendid hooch. Olgird and I brew it in our teething years. I shall introduce you to the newlyweds now. Try to behave. For you, my Rowan Petal, I'd do anything. Time to meet and be greeted. 
I shan't stray a step from your side. Now to try as a stock fish. <laughs> 